Well, today marks six full weeks since Boeing machinists went on strike and there is still no word when negotiations will resume. The pension continues to be the big sticking point. An expert from the University of Washington says Boeing doesn't even have the money to provide that pension. The company's latest offer was rejected. It had included a 35% raise over four years, which would have raised the average machinist salary to $116,000 per year by the end of the contract term. The union has been seeking a 40% raise plus a return of that pension. Re-entering a defined benefits pension scheme is, given these numbers, infeasible. It's just the real. At some point, there's reality, and we cannot turn back the wheels to, to something that is not feasible. We're getting closer, but it's not enough to to make people satisfied. And the ripple effect is hitting contractors as well now. Spirit Aerosystems said it will now need to furlough at least 700 of its workers.